Alicia, so nice to meet you. Um, welcome to Copenhagen and Comic Con. Uh, how are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, it's great. I've never been to Copenhagen before, and I've never been to a convention like this. We've done um, Comic Con, obviously, in San Diego, and and a couple of different press days. But this is the first time I'm kind of in a different city doing a convention, and and it's amazing. Like everyone's so wonderful and positive, and great energy and everyone looks awesome so yeah having a great time let's talk a little bit about you um you started out acting very early at the age of eight mm -hmm. am i right yeah um i'd done a couple of commercials when i was quite young but it wasn't till i was about eight i did a film and that was my first real realization of how much i loved acting and and what that industry was what that world meant and how everyone in that world somehow had the same mind that I did. It was wanting to be collaborative and creative and 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 create, explore and and I loved that. Your character, Feel the Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. Very uh, strong female character, but also a bit of a teenager. A bit of a teenager. And I've watched the show and she is a teenager. <laughs> she is a teenager, yeah. It seems to me that the most dangerous thing during a zombie apocalypse, it's not the zombies, it's not the people, it's teenagers. Because you guys, I mean, you, you're taking some decisions that might be a little, well, not the best idea. Yeah, I think that was definitely one of the harder parts of playing Alicia because she is a teenager and so you're prone to prejudice of making mistakes or, you know, teenagers exploring and create and having mistakes and, and that's how you learn as a young adult. That's how you become who you are. Uh, and, and it is very unforgiving from an audience point of view. People often feel like they should know better or, oh, the teenagers again. And, and that's sort of hard. But at the same time, I, I like that it gives her somewhere to grow. Uh, she can make these mistakes now and then we get to see how far she, she grows and what she can become from those mistakes. What was it like for you landing this role? I mean, your, your career obviously must have taken a, a tour across the sky and landed you, well, here. Um, so, so how was that experience? Uh, I really didn't think that much of it, to be honest. Um, a lot of the cast, we weren't familiar with the original show. And so when we started this journey, we were just all happy to be, you know, working together on, on this great project that we all liked the writing. And, and I didn't think about where it could go. It wasn't until I, once I got the job, I started watching some of the episodes and, and I was like, oh, this is a big thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm so uh, happy to be a part of it and it's a wonderful family and then this incredible fandom surrounding it that you just don't get with every show. And so it's a real lucky you know, thing to be a part of. Do you ever get scared when you're shooting? No, not really, because it's all so ridiculous. It's... Uh, there are creepy uh, moments there. Have, we've shot a lot of episodes now in this old hotel, which I'm not a great fan of. I think part of it's definitely haunted or something. <laughs> but uh, other than that, everything's so exaggerated and comical. You, we've got zombies walking around on set holding a cup of coffee and a cigarette. So it, it's this bizarre, absurd mix of, of the creepy, but the... the funny at the same time. So if there are any teenagers out there walking into a zombie apocalypse, what would be your number one advice? Uh, probably don't. Don't reach out to random boys over the <laughs> radio. <laughs> That's probably my number one. Can you tell us anything about season three at all? I am yet to even go in for a writers meeting. So hopefully in the coming weeks, I'll be able to go and talk to the writers and see what their ideas are. I'm looking forward to it. Here at Comic-Con, you know, a lot of people, they dress up, like, doing cosplays and things like that. And I've, I've, I think I've seen one or two dressed as your character, uh, from the 100, at least I saw one, and uh, maybe even from The Walking Dead as well. I wanted to ask you, if you were going in costume to a convention like this, uh, what would you dress up as? I saw someone wearing a great Tinkerbell costume just downstairs, and I thought that looked really cool. But if I was doing it, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what to do for Halloween. Um, I was thinking the it would be kind of fun to dress up as like Khaleesi from Game of Thrones or something. That would be pretty fun. Your future, mm -hmm. what does it have in store for you? Big question. <laughs> um, 
what does it have in store for me? I'm not quite sure. Uh, hopefully get to work with a lot of great people. Uh, I know we're filming the next season soon. And um, I'm, I'm trying to see where I can fit some tropical break in there somewhere, go somewhere tropical. That's what I want to do in the near future. <laughs>